Okay, so I got some of this colored copy paper. So, uh, it's a little thicker than notebook paper, but not as thick as cardstock. So, it should work. The buck trunk is today's EDC knife. Seven CR is the steel. So still needs to be broken in. It's very reminiscent of the flat iron and the asada. I always forget. So even though it's hit or miss on the flipper, it's got bronze and Teflon washers. Uh, I can thumb flick it relatively easy. So. I'm sure the flipper will break in because it, it's worked for me in the past. But anyway, so I did pick up some cardstock paper and index cards also to simulate packaging that you would uh, use a pocket knife maybe to open. Okay, it is 12 o'clock noon. I would say that's a decent amount. It's a good mix of uh, cardboard, heavy cardboard and light cardboard and paper stock. So let's see how this 7CR steel is holding up. And it looks like it's holding up quite nice. Ooh. Um, so now we're going to switch over as usual to more or to alternate materials. Uh, wood, twine, rubber, plastic packaging, more so. This knife is impressively slicey. Um, it is going through cardstock like butter. Ramen and Salisbury Steak. Delicious. Okay, we are almost done with this shift. And I have a ton of material. Not as much as yesterday, but a ton. I have not touched up the blade yet. So we'll get some of our copier paper. As you can see, it still cuts paper. 7CR is what the package said for the buck trunk on the steel. I was online and Smoky Mountain Knife Works says it's 7CR13 MOV. I don't know where they got that, but in all honesty, this is doing a really good job. I have not had to touch it up, so I don't know if I'll have any troubles with uh, sharpening it, like I did with the Gerber flat iron. But we're going to keep going for another hour and a half and see uh, how this uh, knife handles the EDC tasks for eight hours. I still can't get it to flip. That's no oil. So I can get it to flip like this, but slow rolling is perfectly fine for me. Okay, we're going to call it a day. That is a lot of material, and not just material, 
cardboard and paper, but some inner tube rubber, braided rope, packing foam, rubber bands, and planks of wood, and wooden dowels, and pencils. So, what else did I do here? Get my notes up. Okay, so before I get into my final thoughts, let me do the cut test. Oh, look, it flipped out that time. It's hit or miss right now with the uh, flipping. Very nice. I have not touched this 7CR blade at all. So let me look at my notes here. Uh, so the blade, very nice, pointy tip. I like that. Helps with the cardboard. There is no play. And it's very slicey. That's the best description. When I was cut through that cardstock, it was such a joy. Uh, the clip. So the clip, clear clip for me, uh, it was not uncomfortable at all. Uh, not at all uncomfortable for me. The handle, uh, I like the G10. Uh, I do kind of miss a lanyard hole on there, but that's me, but that's okay. Um, the jimping, if you focus on it, you can feel it. Uh, but when I was using this, I wasn't thinking about the jimping, and it was not uncomfortable at all. Even this top port part right here is kind of pointy. Not sharp, but pointy. So if, you, if you're looking for it, you'll feel it. But if you're just using your knife, I mean, I didn't really notice it. Not an issue whatsoever. Um, not noticeably aggressive is what my notes say. So we uh, processed jute rope. We did a great job. Rubber bands, pencils, wooden dowels, acrylic yarn, fishing line. Should probably put maybe the weight of the line. Duct tape, bicycle tubes did a very impressive job with the inner tubes. Uh, foam inserts, uh, I put light butter. Braided rope did a great job. Wood planks. So, in a nutshell, for $20, this was a joy to use. Um, lightweight and slicey. I uh, have not had to touch it up at all, and it still cuts paper after eight hours of simulated EDC usage. So they don't say Boss Heat Treat or whatever. I, I tried to see if they advertised that. Uh, I don't have the packaging anymore, but uh, <laughs> the websites don't say that. You know, they like to brag about that. So, but it's very nice. I highly recommend this $20 knife uh, for, uh, for EDC usage. But I am done for the day. And it's my Friday, so time to live the rest of my life. Um, so that means... No specific EDC video tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow, though, in life.